I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find equation of trigonometric function from the given graph. So we are given a graph here. The question is determine the equation of trigonometric function from the graph. Now since the graph is always decreasing, it seems to be graph of y equals to cotangent of x, right? So we will try to find what particular values are there for the cotangent function. First, let us understand the characteristics of cortex. We know period for cortex is how much? It is pi. And the other critical values for cortex to consider is what? Now, for cotangent x, we know the asymptotes are at 0 and pi, right? So the asymptotes are, are at 0 and pi. And that is, that is also the period. And it is zero for cortex we are talking about. The points to consider for cortex are, let me sketch one here and then it will be easier for us to, to understand the characteristics. Right? So let me sketch one function here and then it will be very easy for us to understand. So what we are saying here is that the function is normally like this, like shown here in the graph, kind of like this, right? where the vertical asymptotes are at the origin and at pi. Okay. Now these are critical points to consider. Now at pi by 2, the value of the function is 0, but at these two points, which is pi by 4, quarter of the cycle, and this point is at 3 pi by 2, the value is 1 and minus 1 respectively. So these are the three points which we should be checking for vertical or horizontal stretch or compression, correct? And this point zero helps us to figure out the horizontal translations, correct? Even, you know, those vertical asymptotes can tell you about horizontal translation. Now let's analyze our function. So what we have here is the vertical asymptotes are at zero and one, right? So therefore the time period for the given function is what? time period is 1 for us, correct? So for this function, we can write that time period t is equals to 1. If t is 1, then k will be pi by 1, which is pi, correct? That is the first thing. Now the second thing is we'll consider these three points. That is to say, well, we have here 0 to 1, that is half, and quarter of this is kind of here, correct? So at quarter we check a value which is plus 1 and at 3 quarters we have a value which is minus 1, right? This is minus 1. That means there are no stretches or compressions, correct? And therefore from this we can write down our function as y equals to cotangent of pi times x. Do you understand? So that is how we can write equation of this particular function. So we have taken a very basic function so that you can appreciate what critical points we should consider and find the equation of the function from the graph. Now in the coming examples we will take transform functions. Thank you and all the best.